hey guys welcome back to my channel sophie society thanks so much for clicking on this video and for today we're going to be doing a puppy essentials haul this is everything that you could possibly need when you get a new dog whether it's your first dog or your third dog this is stuff that i wish people told me before i got my puppy so keep on watching So the first thing you need is a pup. I wanted to show you guys my dog. This is Nipsey Blanco. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Nipsey, say hello to the people. Say hello. Hello. Okay. Nipsey is a full bred or breed Maltese. He is one and a half years old in human years i don't know the whole dog year thing i get confused but he was born september 9th 2020 so that is this is what nipsey is so first thing um is dog food of course you can do hard food or like soft food but when i first got my dog i did start him out on hard food um and i didn't get kibbles because like just like humans like it's better if humans eat more organic food or more natural food so i try to do the same thing for my pup so he can be around as long as possible but um if i am giving him hard food then i do choose the rachel ray i'll have a picture of it but i like to use the rachel ray um it's like puppy bright dog food and i just for some reason i just believe rachel ray would put honest products in her dog food because i know she cares and loves her dogs a lot so i feel like i don't know i believe her once nipsey got a little bit older then i transitioned him from the hard food to more soft food more actual human like food so the brand that i always get nipsey is by fresh pet um and i trust this brand this is what i've been feeding nipsey this one in particular i switch him up this is the small dog one and this just has um farm raised chicken antioxidant rich fruits like cranberries carrots spinach and um yeah it's more natural food so this does stay in the refrigerator versus like the other canned food that some dogs uh have i just don't think that stuff is good for him so this is what i give my dog and i would suggest other people do more of the human like dog food for their pets as well with treats i do give my dog treats now nah. um and i got these little containers actually from dollar tree there are a lot of things that you can find you don't have to spend like a whole bunch of money and go to um petco and PetSmart, which they do have great things but this container at PetSmart would have been like eight to fifteen dollars and i got it at dollar tree for one dollar so be smart with your money if you want to um but i do like giving nipsey these which i'll put a picture of they're just these greenies here they help with cleaning their teeth any kind of plaque or anything that builds up i've been giving him these since he was a puppy and they do come in various sizes so you just get the size depending on what size your dog is nipsey gets the teeny ones because he's only six pounds chat but another treat that i love to give nipsey are these little bones here it has like peanut butter and chicken i'll put a picture on the screen he absolutely loves these um and these are in the small version and these bones are rawhide free a lot of dog treats have rawhide in it i'm not even sure what rawhide is but i heard it's not good for your dog so these are the rawhide free ones and another thing um if you guys have to give your pups um like any kind of medicine or capsules that they have to take from their vet i got hip to these which is by the same brand greenies they're peel pockets and they're like peanut butter filled. This dog here loves peanut butter. So you take the peel or whatever you have to take, you put it in the little pocket like it shows, pinch it and then they just eat it and they don't even know it's in there. So these are a must if you're trying to get your dog to take down some peels or something that you know they ain't gonna wanna eat, but you need to disguise it, stick it in one of them peel pockets. Next, of course, we need um, things to help keep up with your dog and keep him controlled. So this is just a regular collar that I got from Walmart and it does have the reflective strip on here. So if we go out at night, you know, I can see him, it'll shine um, with lights. But the main thing is a dog tag. This is how Nipsey's look. And I get so many questions and compliments on this dog tag I got from Amazon. I will link it down below. I really want to start selling these myself and make a little coin on the side. Um, and this one, we do live in the state of Georgia. So this does 
mock the regular Georgia driver's license. I thought it was so cute and so funny. And this is lasting a while. It's metal. It just has his name, uh, two different contact numbers. They can call me or my mom when he was born, the breed he is, the address. It doesn't have to be this elaborate. You can literally go to PetSmart and get the little one made in the metal machine. I just, I'm extra, so. I had to get this but you definitely need a dog tag and a collar for sure for your pets and your dogs now some people like to put the bells on their things so they can hear where their dog at is you know throughout the house but this makes enough noise on its own so I can hear him now I do have two different kinds of leashes for a reason when you first get a puppy they've never been on a leash before so it's new to them, they're scared of it. You put them on a leash and then they literally freeze. Like, I can't move because they think they're paralyzed. I don't know, dogs are weird. So I would recommend getting just like a cheap, non-retractable leash when you first get your dog and literally just clip it on them and let them kind of walk around without you being there so they don't even notice it's on them. Just let it kind of drag behind them and they'll get used to kind of being on a leash. But after they get used to it I would recommend getting a retractable leash I use this all the time when I take Nipsey outside on a walk or you know to potty or whatever retractable perfectly fine it has a good hand I would recommend getting one with the hand grip because let me tell you I don't know about y'all dogs my dog is easily distracted if a squirrel a cat something fly by and I'm not really paying attention I'm not really holding on to it tight he can kind of almost yank it out my hand with the nor with like a non um, grip handle but this one has grip on it so it's like more secure in my hands but yeah a retractable leash you can stop it with this you can bring it back highly recommend going along with leashes and collars um, my number one thing that I use on my dog is a harness this is one of Nipsey's harnesses. I think I got this from Five Below. Like I told y'all, you can find affordable dog care things all over. You don't have to spend, cause the dog itself is expensive. So if you can kind of save, you know, a few bucks here and there, do that girl. This came from Five Below and I've had it for a while now. This is just a harness. It goes around Nipsey. That's how I like to um, take him outside or walk him. I don't really like to put the leash on his collar, just like his regular collar, cause they be yanking and stuff, choking, pulling his neck. So with the harness, it's kind of controlling him by his body and shoulders versus his little scrawny neck. So yeah, need this. When you first get the dog, obviously they don't know, you know, going outside or how, however you want to potty train your dog. But if you have a boy or a girl, not everyone uses this, but I do. These are doggy diapers. For the girls, they look a little different. For the boys, they literally just wrap around their body. So their little private area is right here. Cause if they're peeing around the house, it won't, you know, make your house smell or anything because the diaper is soaking up. But you literally just rip it off and throw it away. Perfect, boom. Um, and I would really recommend this for, even if your dog is potty trained, but for me personally, if it's raining outside or anything like that, I'm not taking my dog outside. Cause one, his paws gonna be all wet and sticky. He gonna smell like a wet dog. I'm about to be wet in the rain. And it's just a mess. It's a lot to deal with taking a dog out in the rain. So if it's raining, I will wrap one of these around Nipsey and let him do his business. Number one, not number two, obviously. And then next are these dog pads. I'm sure everyone knows about dog pads. I buy them in a box of 50 um, and they're pretty affordable at Walmart. I think you can get a box of 50 for like nine bucks, maybe eight dollars. Um, and they look like this. Once again, for those rainy days or um, some people, especially people who live in the city, like maybe, you know, high rise apartments or it's just not a lot of greenery around like New York or places like that. They have a designated area in their house and their dog just is trained to go to the pad when they have to use the bathroom instead of going outside. So these are very essential, super essential. Oh, now these are probably my number one thing that I recommend for any new pet parent or whatever. These are by Vibrant Life. They're the itch wipes. Basically, you know how humans have baby wipes. We can just wipe, touch up or freshen up, whatever. This is what this is for dogs. Um, but these are itch wipes. A lot of dogs, my dog in particular has allergies. So he licks and nibbles on his paws all the time. But when we come from outside, I make sure I clean his paws off because you don't want to bring that dirt and all that stuff into your house. But 
when I wipe his paws off with this, it also stops him from licking on his paw so much because it has a bitter taste. It stops licking and chewing. And it says it soothes itching and scratching for dogs and cats. And it's made with aloe. And I love these. I repurchase these all the time. These are very affordable as well. I don't know how much these are. I think it's like six bucks at Walmart and Target. So got these. Now this is something a little more natural and holistic, I guess some would say, but I really do love doing this. And I'd say that it's been helping. This is just some organic, unrefined coconut oil. You're probably wondering what the heck am I using this for? Every other day, not every day, but every other day, I put just like a half of a teaspoon of coconut oil in Nipsey's food. And coconut oil is really good for dogs to eat because it helps with their allergies because Nipsey does have allergies. It helps fight um, internal like fungi. It helps with their uh, immune system. It's just really good for dogs. And who knew child? Because I use it all the time personally. When I found out it was good for dogs, I said, oh, let me give Nipsey a little bit of this. I got Nipsey as a graduation gift from college. Um, and he was only six weeks old when my mom brought him to me. So I've had him you know his whole life pretty much um and i've been giving him this from the beginning and nipsey's allergies used to really really be bad because he always nibbled on his paws when your dog is nibbling and licking on their paws constantly it means they have bad allergies so i've been giving him this and i've seen a significant difference nipsey barely be licking on his little paws cha. but i think it's because the coconut oil and it adds another flavor to their food something a little different to keep them interested in their food looks like this this is just a paw balm I actually wanted to make this myself but I forgot this is just uh, like I said a paw balm um, you know when dogs go outside on concrete on grass different textures their paws can get rough especially as they get older um, and I know for like a lot of big dogs as well but I put this on Nipsey's paws not that often every now and then to keep them smooth and soothe and just not rough okay guys now let's talk about a few toys and i do have i did bring a variety so in the very beginning if you're getting a dog and they're new they're still a puppy they are going to be teething all this i didn't know i didn't know that uh, a dog was like a baby my mom kept telling me a dog is like having a child i don't have kids so i don't know what that's like but i'm starting to see Anyway, so the dogs do teeth, just like, you know, humans. They grow new teeth and all that good stuff. So it's good to have different textures um, when they're playing with their toys so they help soothe their gums, their itchy growing gums. The first thing that I bought my dog when I first got him was this. This is like a rubber bone, but as you can see, it has spikes on it and it's very texturized. And this really helped him when he was teething because obviously the spikes help to kind of massage his gums and he can to really play around with this and help soothe uh, his little gum aches that he was having. Another tip, you can put these in the freezer, just like kids, put them in the freezer and it helps their gums even more while they're teething. So you're gonna need something to help with the teething, okay? Okay, another toy, this is another one of Nipsey's favorite toys. Um, it has like the rope on the end, so he just likes to chew on the rope. Uh, it also has like the squeaking in here. So yeah, once again, different textures. It helps keep them interested, engaged from being bored and helps with their teeth as well. Then we have this, which my mom and my sister both hate this thing because they hate the noise it makes. But I got this just to keep Nipsey entertained while no one's here. Uh, this is a chicken or rooster or whatever. And it is annoying, watch the sound. <laughs> My mom doesn't like it because she said it sounds like a baby crying, but yeah, this is um, a rubber toy and he plays with this sometimes, but he kind of got over it. I think the noise was bothering him. And then another toy, these are just some like french fries. I thought it was so cute, but this has the squeaking in it. Uh, this is more like fuzzy and cottony. He likes playing with this. This isn't really for teething. This is just for him to be playing with. T Nipsey honestly has tons of toys. And then this is what a lot of people recommended when I first got Nipsey. And I don't know what to say because my dog wasn't really feeling this. This is a Kong. Um, that This is like the smaller version. But I know a lot of bigger dogs play with these. I don't know if it's because Nipsey is small or what. But this is just like a 
cylinder thingy the inside is empty so you stuff it with like peanut butter um dog treats a little bit of kibble uh carrots or whatever you want to put in here and it keeps their attention for a while because they're trying to get in there and get all the good stuff out but i tried this a couple times and nipsey wasn't really feeling it so maybe i'll try it again now that he older especially if you're going to be gone a while maybe to work or whatever and you know you don't want your dog to just be bored at the house and in the house bored so this will help hold their attention with grooming my dog um i kind of do a mixture sometimes i'll take him to get groomed at petco or whatever but a lot of times i do groom him myself just because i've had a couple issues with a couple of these pet industry stores with my dog anyways first off this brand is not really good for dogs at all to be honest it's not good for them the only reason that i use this as you can see at the bottom it says tearless so i only use this to clean nipsey's snout because it's tearless so if a little bit gets in his eyes it won't burn but um to clean his body i got this from tj maxx which i would also highly recommend going to find affordable dog care stuff tj maxx marshall's ross i'm trying to put y'all on save a few bucks okay so this is by loyal friend it is a shampoo and conditioner of two in one and it smells y'all i would use this on myself it's natural it's plant-based um it's with amino acids and coconut oil told y'all about that coconut oil and this cleans my dog really well makes nipsey smell and look good and um all right guys so that was my video for all the puppy essential items that you'll need if you're getting a new dog child you guys really enjoyed this video say goodbye to little nipsey of course hit the subscribe button comment down below give this video a like all that good stuff and i will see you guys in my next video